Howdy, we have not touched this Let's Play in a while. Although today's Let's Play episode is not about horsies, it is about selling food and it's about lag and glitches <laughs> because the save file is corrupted. Right, you know what? I'm sick of it. Absolutely sick of it. Shanice, we're moving out and we're ditching Chantal and the horse. Ferocious Flange, my little pony, I'm so, so sorry, but I'm going to dump you before. Oh my God, what? My chicken's dying. <laughs> this isn't about the chicken. God, I, I need to escape this lot right now. Everything's glitching and lagging. We're here to sell some bloody food with my first home chef hustle. And instead, we're being drawn into all this death and all this crap. Oh my god, the following items were returned to your inventory. Tester claws 3.0, 4.0, 6.0, 5.0. Our goats. Oh my god, we've got goats in our inventory. That's hilarious. Shanice is in her dressing gown. She's like, what the hell am I doing here? <laughs> Who needs a horse ranch where you can have a shabby shack in instead. Though the interior is not shabby. <laughs> the interior is going to be a full on modern kitchen. When I say modern kitchen, what I actually mean is half a modern kitchen because we can't like, like we can't afford a full modern kitchen yet because we haven't got any money. We can, oh my god, we can't even afford the blenders or anything. Okay, we can afford a pizza oven. We can't, we, okay, we can't get the food mixer, but we can get a waffle maker. Can we, we really need the food mixer, really. What if I just delete like all of the counters? Christ's sake, I'm so, so sorry, Shanice. We're back to square one. I'm so sorry. Right, here's your little bed. Can we afford a toilet? Nope. So it looks like you're shitting out in a bush. Again, I'm so sorry. We had life so good. We were like, honestly, rolling in the money before. <laughs> but that's what happens when you hate your half sister so much, you drop everything to get away from her, including all of your money. Although we don't have any money in order to buy ingredients. So actually, <laughs> we're going to have to go back and visit Sean's house so we can use the garden. We just need to steal basically all of the plants and then we can get back to the Moonwood Mill area. Now, oh my god, now another chicken is dying. Now we've just arrived. Oh, hello there. Not my problem anymore. So sorry, Chantal. I'm stealing all of your plants. Technically, they're mine. I've just moved out temporarily. So we've got a few veggies now, so it won't cost us much money to prep veggies, which is good. Also, with the scraps of money we've got left, I kind of want to do seating outside so that when people buy the food, they can sit down and eat it. From my previous experiment, they don't actually really sit down and eat. They just kind of hover over the market stall, but we'll see if that's been fixed or if they're still going to be dumb sims. I feel like whatever we make, because we've got so much veg in our inventory, everything's going to have to be made with prep veg because when we make the prep veg, you can see it's totally free. All right, Shanice is about to pass out because she's very tight. So sleep in your pastel pot bed, please. Please. We've got a long evening ahead of us. Oh my god, not the welcome wagon. Fuck off. We don't want you here. Oh my god. Oh, look, our goats are really stinky. <laughs> I'm neglecting them. I don't really care. Although weirdly, if you click get leftovers, she will eat the prepared vegetables, which is a little bit weird, but there we go. Oh, of course she washes the dishes in the bathroom sink, even though I gave her a kitchen sink. We're on the new Aspiration Appliance Wiz. We've got to collect ingredients five times whilst it inspired. What the hell? Oh, for Christ's sake, the Grim Reaper's here to reap my little goats. I'm so sorry, goats. I don't care. Just go away. The Horse Ranch Let's Play is over. We don't need you anymore. The only annoying thing about Mootlet Okay, she's energized, but she's not inspired. But I want her to be inspired, but we've got to wait for the energized stuff to go away. Okay, now she's inspired. Honestly, this game is so funny the way mootlets work. Yes, she needs light cooking, of course. Oh no, our blender broke. <laughs> for Christ's sake. Right, let's get that fixed, Shanice. Now let's try again. Okay, we did it. I'm also going to make some flour dough. Although, oh my god, that was 40 simoleons. Oh my gosh, that was too much. At least we got five servings. So, oh my god, the Grim Reaper's back trying to take away all my goats. Sir, just do whatever you want to do, okay? Apparently, if we cook using prepped veggies, that will give us sped up cooking. So we basically make a whole meal faster, although she's fanning around, playing with all the different things. If you don't, oh, she did do, actually do that quite quickly. Well done, Shanice. So we can make a garden pizza with all the stuff that we've got for free. So Shanice, it is your time to shine. Make us a garden pizza. Let's get to it. We got our first bit of food. Can we make anything else? A herb, focci foc focci archer, focci archer. <laughs> I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong, but I like calling it a focci archer. That sounds a bit more fun. Oh, the goat's come to say hello, the stinky goat. Hello, sir. He's unhappy, dirty, starving. Not my problem. I have got focci archers to make. So I feel like we've made enough.
enough for the time being. We're gonna start a food sale. Let's get to it. I think we should mark up the prices to 100% because they are excellent quality, I believe. Hopefully people will start buying them. Is anybody gonna turn up? Anyone? <laughs> anybody here? Oh, we have one, oh no, we have three people. Sir, Marcus Price, what are you buying? Are you getting a fucky archer? Absolutely lovely. I honestly, I wish they would just sit down instead of just standing over it. It's so immersion breaking. Okay, we made 44 simoleons from that. That's pretty good. The herb focci archers are 26 simoleons. The pizza is 44. Best get making some more pizza. Anybody else want to buy anything? Love that we got all these people turning up. Oh, now we've got the Grim Reaper. <laughs> Hello there, sir. Welcome to my food stand. Looks like everybody's freaking out. Shanice is trying to sell bloody waffles and shit to this Grim Reaper. <laughs> right, Shanice, I know your goats died, but we're trying to upsell food, so let's get to it. Everybody's picking things up and eating. We're actually doing pretty good so far. I'm very impressed. It's taking a long time for people to buy different things. Like, Shanice, Shanice, what's she talking to? I think she's talking to the pizza oven. <laughs> Why is she talking to the pizza oven? I don't know. We're literally, okay, we've made 500 simoleons so far. Oh, we've gained the entrepreneur skill as well, which is good. Oh, we finished. We sold nine herb fucky archers, five garden pizza slices. We made four, five, four. That is pretty good. So I believe the rest of it, maybe we could just pop it in our inventory and then we could resell it tomorrow. So I'm very much happy with the result. Oh, my goat tessa claws has run away due to inadequate care. Thank God for that. We don't have to deal with them anymore. And um, oh, another goat's dying. Lovely. Like where are all the, I'm sure, like how many goats did I really have? <laughs> I'm sure I didn't have that many. So what if we replace these chairs with actual like normal outdoor furniture? Maybe a bench. Will that make people sit down? I don't know. So we're close to completing the stage two of this aspiration. And then like, they're always so random. Cook five times whilst listening to music. Like what is, this is supposed to be your lifetime aspiration. Your goal in life is to cook five times whilst like listening to music. Do you know what I mean? It's a bit all over the place. Shanice is just like dancing to the music as she's making it. Oh no, our bloody thing broke again. We need to repair it. This thing breaks all the bloody time. Anyways, let's get cracking. We're selling our garden salad that we made as well. Why is she, like, why is she talking to the side, Shanice? You're not speaking to the punters. <laughs> you're facing the wrong way, Shanice. Face the people you're talking to. Basic social skills, please. Also, do you know what I'm gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna mark up the prices a little bit more to 200%, see what happens. Normally what I find is that it doesn't matter. Oh my God, we got a celebrity, not fucking Britney Cho. Can we make her leave? I literally just want her to leave. No, we can't make her leave. Is she leaving by herself? Thank God for that. Can we make any waffles yet with all the ingredients? We can. We can make chicken and waffles. I really want to try chicken waffles. It sounds a bit random. Like I can't imagine eating chicken with waffles, but like I do like bacon and eggs with waffles. Maybe it'll work. Who knows? Oh, we weren't actually tending the table. So nobody was buying anything. Oopsie. <laughs> I think it's better if you have two Sims, one to cook and one to do everything else. Now the Sims are piling up. Well, we make 900. 115 today. I feel like that's pretty good. Least we can afford an oven now so we can actually cook some nicer things and work on completing our aspiration. We've got to make pleasantly unpleasant waffles. Batter with trash fruit and strawberry nectar. This is why I hate these tutorially aspirations because if you complete it before the goal, it doesn't register as complete. It's just so silly. With horse ranch, they actually did a good job because they made it like a pure lifetime aspiration. But these like tutorially things, I don't get it. Although the reward Reward trait for this one is batch cooking. So you get duplicates of any recipe you cook with prepped ingredients, which is good. What about the other one, Market Magnate? Am I saying that right? Your reward trait is Booth boss. You can set higher markup prices and are more successful at convincing to buy. See, it's like run a food stand from a residential lot. Like I've already done that a million times, but it doesn't register it. I feel like aspirations need an overhaul. Although I'd rather have cars in an open world if I had to pick and choose. We're chucking this table in our inventory and we're going off somewhere new. Actually, I wonder if I can place it up in this little mountain in Moonwood Mill. I'm actually going to try that. Can we place it up here? Okay, looks like we can't. Can we place it? Can you? Okay. Oh, there we go. We can place it. <laughs> We're on a secluded mountain. We gonna get any punters in? I, like, I don't know if it's gonna work. <laughs> I really, like, I'm not convinced it's gonna work. It'd be funny if it did, though. No, I don't. Oh my God, people are actually turning up. <laughs> As if people are turning up. Oh my God, all these people are, like, turning up. That's actually really funny. 
<laughs> as if they're turning up. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for buying my stuff and coming all the way up here. That is so lovely of you. Okay, do you know what? I'm going to end it. I want to see if we can run it from any other inappropriate place. So I'm just thinking now that we go to, is it called Forgotten Hollow, the little fairy world? I always forget the route that you have to go through here. Okay, we don't follow the light. We follow the sound. Do we go upstream? Nope, we don't. Okay, follow the sound. Go downstream. Enter the mist. Travel to the glade. Let's get going. Shanice, are you ready? The only thing is you can't really drag it down. So you've got to like go somewhere, try and face the right direction, place it in. There we go. Is anybody going to come? Sir? Oh my God. Hello, sir. Welcome to Sylvan Glade. Buy my sticky. Oh my God. We got spoiled garden pizza. <laughs> Oopsie. To be fair, like you can't get rid of the spoiled food. It's a little bit of an oversight. But there we go. I mean, people are turning up. Even though it's the same five people who have turned up every single time, there must be mega fans of my waffles. Shanice, how does it feel to have a popular waffle? You have the most eaten waffle in all the land. See everyone. Oh my God. Everyone's just standing around looking at their phones. <laughs> Why are people doing this? Madam, your plate is clipping through this lady's back. What is going on? <laughs> people are doing press ups. Gosh, what an absolute nightmare. Honestly, the Sim, like Sims 4 Sims are supposed to be the smartest Sims townies. They are literally the worst. Sims 4 Sims are the dumbest Sims. At least it's doing well. We're making a lot of money. Now, if you won't get to work, you know, there is an alien world called Six Sam. So <laughs> here we have a wormhole generator. We spent our last bit of money on this generator. I have cheated to upgrade it because like, I'm not gonna like, I'm not reaching level 10 in the scientist career just to do this. Do you know what I mean? Are we ready, Shanice, to go through the generator? Let's get to it. Here we are. We are in 6am. Let's get going. Oh my God, this is so exciting. Oh my God, there's an alien already. Hello, madam. Can we set up our food stand here? Oh my God, we literally can. <laughs> right, let's start a food sale. This is literally so funny. I wonder if anybody's going to turn up. We kind of need to make some more food because everything's spoiled, but we didn't bring our ingredients with us. So we're going to have to... Oh, look, you can make something with an alien fruit. But what is alien fruit. I actually don't know. Don't think we can get an alien fruit here, which is ironic because we're literally in the alien world, but whatever. But what I think, oh my God, I left my food stand. I left my food stand in six. Um, oh my God, I hope it's still there when we come back. So definitely not by using cheeks. We have got a alien fruit, apparently. I'm really sure that we've accidentally lost our market stool. So I'm just going to buy a new one just in case because you can't buy anything when you go into six. Sam. So our market's still still there. Oh my god, it actually is still there along with all the weird people. Shanice, let's get going, mate. Was it an alien? There we go. An alien pizza. As if we can make a curious pizza. Was there an alien waffle? There was not an alien waffle, but we can make an alien pizza. I kind of want to try a slice of it. Like, will it give us a special moodlet or do anything special or is it just not that deep? It just puts you in a focused mood, basically. That's it. I'm also selling some grapes that I accidentally placed on there, so looks like that's happening. Well, there you go. You can sell alien pizza in space. I mean, to be fair, it goes for 294 simoleons a slice. That's pretty good. How are all these people in space? <laughs> How did they all get here? They must really love my bloody food to come all the way to space to have some. Now, the only thing that I do want to try, if you search by sim sessions on the gallery and sort by rooms, there should be a, there we go, a sim sessions craft table. Now, there's actually a lot of different market selling tables in the game. We got one with Jungle Adventure, one with City Living and one with Eco Lifestyle. But if you search Sim Sessions on the gallery, you can basically get this one, which is base game friendly. I want to see if I can stock this table with random food, will I be able to sell it from there? First, you click on stock table and then you can tend the table and start a yard sale. And it looks like we can sell food this way. It's, although obviously you can't take the portable appliances with you. But even if you don't own this pack. Let me just end the yard sale. You could literally cook, for example, an entire apple pie. I don't know why I'm making an apple pie. That's just what I'm doing. Chuck that in the inventory. Cook something else completely random, like mac and cheese. Click on it. Click on pick up servings and just basically pick up every single serving that you get from this. Put the mac and cheeses and the apple pies on the table. Stock the table and 10 tables. See, I thought that you wouldn't be able to do this in the base game. 
I thought it was locked away, but it seems like you can actually do this basically without the Home Chef Hustle pack. So you don't even need that pack to actually have the gameplay functionality. You can just sell things anyway. So even if you don't own that pack, you can still enjoy the gameplay of it. It's kind of funny. So there we go. That's there for you. Hope you enjoyed the little Let's Play with Shanice. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.